Most actors and actresses give everything they have when in a role. Some will gain or lose multiple pounds in order to play a certain role. Many learn skills they probably never even thought to try or learn until they got a certain role. Facts First presents Here Are the Weirdest Skills Actors Learned for a Movie. The Matrix is full of action-packed kung fu sequences. Most of the cast members who acted like kung fu masters on screen had no training at all beforehand. Lawrence Fishburne was one of them. He played Morpheus, the captain of the Nebuchadnezzar who had kung fu training. To play that role, Lawrence had to spend hours and hours training. Keanu Reeves played many roles in his life that required him to handle a gun, but none of them required the training he needed for the John Wick films. He had to be able to handle a variety of weapons, so he trained at Tehran Tactical Innovations. In the scenes where John Wick kills a group of attackers with just a gun took months of training to make it look believable. It's not unusual in Hollywood for stunt doubles to handle the action scenes. When Michelle Pfeiffer played Catwoman in Batman Returns, she trained hours every day to handle a whip, and a stunt double wasn't necessary. Anthony DeLongas was her trainer, and he says that no stunt woman that he's ever trained has mastered the whip the way that Michelle Pfeiffer did. Michelle says it's been 30 years since she trained with the whip and she can still do it. Michelle says it's just like riding a bike. The movie That Thing You Do was about a band called The Wonders from Pennsylvania, who briefly made it to the top of the charts. They had some catchy one-hit wonder hits. The producers wanted the story to be believable, so they had all the cast members learn to play their own instruments for real. For a month, they learned how to play The Wonders' songs on their own instruments. It's impressive, since before the lessons, none of them had ever held a musical instrument. Natalie Portman's performance in Black Swan was so convincing she won an Academy Award for Best Actress. In the film, Natalie played an unhinged ballerina. Before taking on the role, Natalie had zero training or experience in ballet. So to prepare for the role, she had to train several hours each day, and in the process, she lost 20 pounds. She says that there were some nights that she really thought she was going to die. The award-winning show Breaking Bad was about a high school chemistry teacher who starts cooking and selling meth. He starts doing this after being diagnosed with lung cancer, and he wants to make sure that his family is set up financially when he dies. For Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul to play their characters, they needed to know how to make methamphetamine, so they sat down with a few DEA chemists who taught them how to make the drug. They never made any real meth, of course, but they did need to know the technique and science behind making the drugs to make the scenes look real. Winterbone is about a young girl, played by Jennifer Lawrence, who hunts down her drug-dealing father to keep her family from being homeless. Her character was a teenage game hunter, so the production team decided to have her undergo outdoor survival training so that she could play the role convincingly. She had to learn to start fires and even skin squirrels to prepare them for eating. She says that was the craziest thing that she's ever had to do to prepare for a movie. Daniel Day-Lewis is a method actor, and he has gone to great lengths to prepare for his roles. When he played a Czechoslovakian brain surgeon, he actually learned to speak Czech. When he played Christy Brown, he spent most of the shoot in a wheelchair. When he starred in Lincoln, people called him Mr. President on set so he could stay in character. For his role in Last of the Mohicans, Lewis wouldn't eat any catered meals on set. Instead, he hunted his own food. He even learned to use a musket and build a canoe. Channing Tatum was a pretty good fit for the role of Burt Gurney in Hail Caesar because he could dance. He proved this when he starred in Step Up and Magic Mike. The problem was that he did not know how to tap dance, which was necessary for his role in the film. It took him three months to prepare for his six-minute dance sequence. He says that is the most prepared he's ever been for a six-minute scene. Olivia Munn played Psylocke in the X-Men films, a female ninja with crazy sword skills. To play the role, Olivia had to go through intense training to be able to handle a katana like a pro. It took her five months to learn to wield the sword. She got so good at it, she performed 95% of her own stunts. The rigorous training and exercise caused Olivia to lose 12 pounds during filming. The Walk is based on a high-wire artist, Philip Pettit's 1974 crossing of the two towers of the World Trade Center. When Joseph Gordon-Levitt landed the role, he had to train to walk across a high-wire. He didn't actually walk across the Twin Towers or any other buildings because, well, that'd be insane, but he did excel at walking a wire. After two weeks of training, Joseph was so good at it that he could walk across a wire without assistance. Tom Cruise is known in the industry for doing many of his own stunts. He rock climbs, skydives, rides motorcycles. When he starred in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, 
He had to do an underwater sequence for the film that required him to hold his breath for six minutes. Before filming, Tom trained with an expert diver who trained him at a technique that would allow him to hold his breath for an extended period of time. It took Tom only one take to get the scene right. In Suicide Squad, Margot Robbie plays the Joker's sidekick, Harley Quinn. To play the character, Margot had to train for six months in gymnastics so that she could learn the acrobatic moves that her character does in the movie. Her hard work paid off. Critics say she stole every scene she was in. Now You See Me is a movie about a group of magicians and illusionists who pull off bank heists. When Jesse Eisenberg was cast in the film, he had to study stage magic in order to prepare. He got really good at coin and card tricks and would often perform them for the cast and crew. He performed small parts of the bigger tricks, which took a lot of hard work and dedication, too. Robert De Niro gave such a great performance in the film Taxi Driver partly because he became a taxi driver in real life. Before the movie started shooting, he got a license to drive a taxi, and he worked as a taxi driver for a month. Of all the people he picked up during that time, Robert says that only one of them recognized him. When Elizabeth Reeser landed a role in The Haunting of Hill House, she knew that she'd be experiencing some things that would give her nightmares. She had no idea that she'd have to watch actual bodies being embalmed. The production team sent her videos, and she says that it was not something she enjoyed watching. Learning to paint is relatively easy, but learning to paint like Jackson Pollock? That's a different thing entirely. He was one of the most influential painters in history, and his works have sold for millions of dollars. Actor Ed Harris played him in the movie Pollock, and he wanted to get into character as best he could. So to do that, he slept in Pollock's bed, he smoked Pollock's favorite cigarettes, and he studied Pollock's paintings extensively, learning how to paint them. Some of Ed's paintings were so good, they were confused for Pollock's real works. Meryl Streep has been nominated for an Academy Award 19 times during her career. This is more times than anyone in history. Meryl gives everything she has to a role and will do whatever it takes. When Meryl played an aging rocker, Ricky Randazzo, in Ricky and the Flash, she learned to play the electric guitar. By the time filming began, she was able to play every song in the movie, and she looked like she'd been doing it her whole life. What unique skills do you already have that would be helpful if you were to star in a movie? Tell us in the comments, and subscribe for more.